Hey guys and welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use the curve speed feature on CapCut PC. So select your video and add it to track like so. Go to speed and go to curve instead of normal and just choose which one you want to add to your video. Uh, there's montage, hero time, bullet, jump cut, flash in and flash out. I use flash in a lot for velocity edits. Um, I have a tutorial on that um, on this channel, so if you want to look it up, it's there. Um, so, for instance, I want to add in the montage um, kind of curve. Just select it, select smooth slow mo, and choose optical flow, and just wait for it to process. It's going to take longer if you choose this um, one. You can also customize it yourself. I'm just going to show you after um, this is completed so just a few seconds this is what it's going to look like and that is basically a montage kind of curve speed that's what it should look like and I'm just going to go to none if you want to delete it so press none instead um, on the curve and if you want to customize the curve speed just like customize and here you can kind of create your own kind of curve if you want to select both select the middle if you want to just select the left part select the left if you want to select the right select the right so I'm just gonna show you like if you want to make like a curvy speed looks like a that's like a wave that's what I meant just do that and if you want to add more of these just press the plus button here and then like it's going to add more circles to it so like go to this bit right here and then add it and then put it like move it down like so and that is basically it really I hope this tutorial is helpful for you guys don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section and down below, and I will try my best to answer them all for you guys. Um, if you found this video helpful, please click the thanks button above the description box down below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye!